A grief-stricken, unemployed father wails after he discovered his wife had hung herself and suffocated their three-year-old daughter. For the past three months, I have not been getting my salary, and I've also made losses in the stock market, but I can't understand why she took such a drastic step, he says. Police say the Bhatia family appears to be the latest victim of India's devastated diamond industry in Surat. Preliminary investigations point out that an economic crisis is the reason for the suicide, he says. Police say this murder-suicide marks the fourth suicide in just one week in Surat, the epicenter of India's diamond industry. Ninety percent of the world's diamonds are cut and polished here. But the world is no longer buying like it used to. As economies falter, the diamond trade seems to be losing its sparkle. India's diamond industry is reeling as a direct result of the economic crisis in the U.S., which buys an estimated 60 percent of manufactured diamonds. Industry insiders here say exports have fallen by more than 20 percent. We're worried, he says. At present, half the factories are open, and I hope all of them will resume work by the end of December. As the end of the month rapidly approaches, so does the hope of an industry rebound and economic turnaround for the Diamond City and its workers. But a lifetime of sadness awaits the families who have already lost loved ones to despair over their very personal economic troubles. Sarah Seidner, CNN, New Delhi.